<sighs> is this real? Is this real life? Did this really happen? Yup. What is going on guys, Kosho here at the Lion's Den located in Colmar, PA, and this is a video that I definitely did not want to make, uh, but I'm going to be totally transparent. Uh, this is not clickbait, all right, this is some real talk. You can obviously see my attitude probably isn't the same as it normally is, uh, because uh, right now things just kind of suck, you know, it's just the, the nature of the beast. I always try to be real with you guys and not sugarcoat things. Uh, so I'm going through my own sort of emotions that I'm just dealing with and feeling out. And uh, this is just a tough time for me, you know, with the circumstances that I've been put in. But anyway, let's kind of recap, talk a little bit and get to it. So I've been training bodybuilding for a long period of time or hypertrophy training. And the reason being is I have uh, or had a big show that I was playing for in November called Official Strongman Game, so OSG, and I was going to compete in the 105 class. And my main goal was to put everything that I had into this prep uh, and come out swinging and represent myself as an athlete and ambassador of the sport. And I had a lot of really cool things lined up and YouTube videos, etc., that I was going to be putting out. Uh, so in prep for that, uh, I wanted to get my feet wet back in strongman. I haven't competed in about a year and a half. So I decided to sign up for a local competition and just get it in as like a training day basically. So I trained here and there. I had one designated day per week that I was training for those events. Everything else was still hypertrophy training just because that has been my plan um, at this stage of the prep. And then I was going to start slowly transitioning back into strength training and get more specific for strongman. Um, but anyway, I was back and forth on the fence on whether or not I was going to do this competition for a number of reasons. But I figured, one, I made a commitment, so I want to honor that commitment. Two, I want to be an ambassador of the sport uh, and just be a good sportsman to the other athletes and represent what the sport's all about. And three, one of the athletes from the, my gym was competing in there, and I wanted to just go and be able to support him. Uh, have a good time. So I decided to follow through with what I had committed to and overall had a really awesome time at the show. Uh, I was bumped to the super heavyweight class. So I weighed in right around 270 with all my clothes, my shoes, a full belly, all that kind of stuff. Um, my weight the next day was about 260, so 10 pound difference. Uh, but what would have happened is I would have been in the heavyweight class, but they didn't have enough competitors. So they bumped me to the super heavyweight class. Um, so gonna run through the events. You guys see some training footage. They're not complete uh, videos of the entire event because I had someone who was just there helping me out, taking some pictures, taking some videos. So whatever I had gotten was awesome. And the main point I wanna reiterate of this show was me going in and just having fun. And I think uh, oftentimes when we keep progressing, right, in strength sports or become a higher tier athlete, you start to lose track of why you originally got into the sport in the first place, and that's because you enjoy it and you had fun doing it. Uh, so for me, this was my main goal. I didn't care how I placed, I didn't care about anything else other than just having fun and being a great competitor, a good sportsman, helping people out and growing the sport of straw man because I love it so much. So first event was a log clean and press. You had to clean each rep. Uh, the log was 255 for my weight class. Now, just because I wanted to have fun, I wanted to try something different and something new to experiment. So I decided to Viper uh, every single one of my reps. Um, and Viper is just a one motion clean and press. And I actually think I got five Vipers, either four or five Vipers. And then I just went into um, basically a push press. Um, and I really liked the Viper because of how efficient it was. And um, it ended up saving me some time and getting some extra reps in. So I got eight total reps for that event. I was very proud of that. The second one was a max axle clean and press. So Wessel's rules, you have three attempts. If you miss your first attempt or any attempt, you're done. Uh, but if you get that first attempt, you have two more to follow. And for this, it basically went up uh, 20 pound jumps for the men. And there was also a Delaware state record uh, up for grabs. So 
First attempt was 295. It went up, felt great. Uh, this is a movement that I don't like and I'm not actually very confident in. The clean is very challenging for me, but the press is something that I can excel at. So uh, I just wanna do the best I could. So hit 295 and basically that was kind of uh, whatever my next attempt was would win the event for my class and it would also be a record. So I bumped up to 335. I hit that, as you can see, it was pretty easy. Uh, Uh, basically push press the weight up uh, felt great and ended up not taking a third attempt because I didn't need to so got the state record and I also uh, won that event for my class so you know that was a lot of fun third event was the wagon wheel deadlift at 545 and this is something I didn't actually even know how I was gonna do uh, but it kind of just proves the point of my training is that my hypertrophy training has only helped my work capacity and my strength in general uh, because I managed to get 15 reps uh, with 545. And that was enough to take the win on the event and also smoke the hell out of my glutes. <laughs> but I was happy with that. I'm dealing with some low back issues and my low back held up fine. So just, you know, once again, stoked uh, for that performance. And then uh, after that, we had a yoke run to a keg carry. Yoke was 650 for me and the keg was 275. I ended up doing that in about 16 seconds flat. So I was just overall happy with that performance. Uh, I think that was enough to win that event as well. And then the last event, and this is where we get to the whole, you know, issue that had happened, was a stone to podium series. And the last stone was just over bar. Uh, basically, it goes lightest weight to highest podium, and then heaviest weight to lowest load. Uh, in that order. So I'm uh, pretty sure for me it started somewhere maybe either 250 or 275, I can't remember, and I ended with a 335 stone. So I uh, cranked through that event, and uh, this is actually one of the videos that you do see the entire uh, video play. Um, and you know, I get through, feel pretty good, no tacky allowed, but you can use a tacky towel. So I dab my arms with a tacky towel just because why not? and uh, everything was feeling pretty strong. Get to the last stone, I'm picking it up. As I'm picking it up, uh, I feel a pop in my bicep. And right then and there, I knew that I had tore my bicep uh, again. I uh, wasn't sure the extent of how severe it was, but it was enough that I memorized that feeling from last time, uh, I knew right away. So I finished the, the stone series out, loaded the last one over, I was the last guy to go for the last event. Um, and uh, yeah, I just kind of grabbed my arm and kind of went in my own little space for several minutes to just comprehend what had happened. Uh, and then I started feeling uh, pain in the upper part of my bicep. And then I also started to feel uh, a ball that was there. So that would be the tendon uh, that had torn. Now my first surgery was the distal bicep. So that's the lower part of the bicep. Um, now the second tear was proximal, so it's the top of the bicep, and uh, I don't really know what else to say, guys. It's uh, it's very discouraging and it's very tough. Uh, I just it was down this road, you know, uh, several months ago, and to be here again is just uh, kicking the nuts. Um, so, with that said, uh, I'm going to be taking some time to just focus on this healing process for me mentally and physically, kind of get a game plan together. You know, I have appointments signed up with doctors to figure out the best possible route of action uh, to get myself as healthy and recovered best as possible ASAP. Um, but I'm also not going to shy away from saying that, 
you know, just going through this and having to do it again is a lot on me mentally. And I had some big goals, you know, that I'm not sure are gonna be able to happen. And I kind of was putting everything into that. Uh, so this is just adversity at its finest. And I know that I'm a resilient person. I always have been, I always will be. And I know I'll come back from this way stronger than where I'm at right now. Um, but I also know that for me to dismiss all my feelings and act like, hey, everything's fine and everything's gonna be good is a, a bad approach for me. Um, so with that, as I go through this, I'm gonna take some time off of YouTube and social media in general, just to give myself a mental break. Uh, I have been putting out videos for the last eight to nine years on YouTube. Now I'll say a small portion of those have been the heavy hitters that grew the channel, but there's been a lot of work nonetheless with never any breaks. Uh, I never have stopped you know, posting. I never have stopped with YouTube videos and content. And last several months, especially when I've been working with Coach Matt as, as editing these videos, it's been him and myself. We've been putting out tons of videos for you guys for the last several months. Um, so I think what's best for my mental state and my physical state right now is just to kind of take a break uh, call an audible, you know, readjust, recalibrate, and get ready to come back swinging for whatever's to come. Um, but I do wanna say thank you guys so much for all your support, you know, of the channel, watching the videos, you know, commenting, buying programs, apparel, all that good stuff. Uh, it's a very small business. It's myself and a total of five coaches uh, that run the gym. You know, I do most of the online work myself, uh, so it's a lot of me and running a small business is no joke. Uh, so I just appreciate all that. I appreciate uh, all the competitors that I've competed with uh, over the last several years in my last competition. It was fun meeting and hanging out with you guys. You guys did awesome and you crushed it. And I had so much fun, you know, and that's the point of why I wanted to do my last show and why I'll continue to do shows is because I have a blast. And if it wasn't for the sport and what it's done for me, you know, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So thank you guys. And uh, yeah, I think that's kind of it. It's not the most upbeat video. Uh, it's not the happiest video, but it's a video nonetheless. And it's a, I will see you guys later. Okay, it's not a goodbye, but I need to take a little bit of a break. And I wanna come back with some awesome energy and some awesome videos and a lot of new things that I've been working on behind the scenes for quite some time that need to get finished up. Uh, so I will see you guys when I get back. But until then, Stay a lean, mean strike machine. Peace.